Hello everyone, welcome to our guide Postman Hidden Gems, effortless authorization token management. Discover how to streamline your API testing by automation token handling. Are you tired of the constant copy-pasting of authorization tokens? What if I told you there is a better way? The prerequest script up in Postman is your answer. This feature will transform your workflow by automating the token refresh process. The magic tab enables you to execute scripts before the request is sent. This means you can execute JavaScript code to set up prerequisites for your request, such as generating authorization tokens, setting environments variables or any other tasks. So, in our case, your API requires a token for each request. This feature allows you to request a new token and automatically set it in the headers, ensuring your request always has the necessary authentication without manual intervention. You might think this trick is well known, but many developers are still in the dark. It's a simple yet effective workflow enhancement. While automating token refresh is a game changer, Postman's per request script capabilities go far beyond that. Suppose your API workflow involves creating a product or user before testing its ordering process. With per request scripts, you can call your product and user creation API, extract the new users and product IDs from the response and use it in your subsequent order test all seamlessly and automatically. The possibilities are limited only by your imagination. Let's take a look at this script. We are using pm.send request to fetch an authorization token from our server. This method sends an HTTP request and captures the response. In Postman, PM refers to the Postman object that provides an interface to manage the current state of the test and request within scripts. The request details include the URL, method, headers and body. So you must know your authorization server. In my example, I'm posting credentials to receive a token from the Keyclock server. Later, as a study example, I'll show you how to deploy the Keyclock server on Docker. Upon receiving a successful response, we use pm.globals.set to store the token globally in Postman. This way, the token will be easily accessible for any future requests. Make sure to add a link to the global variable in the authorization section. After these actions, you will never turn to manual copy pasting. If something goes awry, Postman's console is where you will find logs and errors. It's essential for debugging and ensuring your scripts run smoothly. Mastering pre-request scripts for token management in Postman can significantly optimize your API testing. As a bonus, I'll demonstrate setting up Keyclock with Docker. It's simpler than you think and gives you complete control over your testing environment. Remember, this is just an example. The principles apply to any auth server you might use. Setting up Keyclock is a breeze with Docker. This part will give you an idea of how auth servers work, enhancing your understanding of the whole process. Ok, let's start. First of all, we need Docker. Please visit the Docker website docker.com, select Get Started and then choose the version of your operation system like Linux, MacOS or Windows. Click on the download link for Docker Desktop. Install it and verify the installation. Open your terminal and type docker version. If you see the version, everything is good. Now let's jump to the official Keyclock website at keyclock.org and click on the getting started with docker. This page is your getaway to securing your application like a boss. Find and copy the docker command provided once you are there. But hold up. Ensure your docker is running before you hit that enter key. Paste that command into your terminal. Now it's time to play the waiting game. This little line of code is the quiet of the powerhouse. It fires up key clock on local port and even sets up the initial admin account with the username and password as admin. Remember. This is just for testing. Don't use such simple passwords in real life. You're asking for trouble. 
Once it's up, open your Docker desktop to ensure that Keyclock container runs smoothly. In Docker you can click here or launch your browser and navigate to localhost 8080 slash auth, log in with the credentials you set early, voila, you are inside Keyclock. Follow the documentation to create a client and user with their own personal credentials. This is where you tailor Keyclock to fit your needs like a custom suit. Now that your setup is complete, you're all ready for authentication adventures. Let's check the connection with Postman, set it up to link to your Keyclock server and observe as it successfully retrieves a token using your credentials. It's like a magic but better, it's technology. Congratulations! You now understand how an authorization server works and the essential info needed to snag tokens in Postman's pre-request scripts. You're not just playing the security game, you're winning it. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more content. Please let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or suggestions. See you soon!